Hi, I'm Nick with Calibrated Power Solutions. Today we're talking to Exergy Engineering's Randy Harkema about his company's endeavor into the Chevrolet Cruze diesel market. Exergy bought the car a few months ago and since then have been testing the fuel pump and injectors to determine the capacity of the fuel system and how well it's going to tolerate additional horsepower. So today we're putting Exergy's Cruze on our dyno, get a baseline, kind of set the stage for future research on the project. Why would you and I be interested in the cruise? I mean, what's what's the common theme here? What is this thing? What's um, new? What's different? What, what's the same? For me, it's a uh, very good mileage vehicle. The handle's nice. Should be able to take quite a bit of uh, power. How much? Uh, to be determined. The handling is certainly there out of the box. The car keeps track of 50 mile increments. One of those 50 mile increments it had 52 miles per gallon. So it does That's very amazing. yeah. So it does very well on fuel. Yeah. And um, as long as you don't drive it hard, it should maintain that same uh, mileage uh, even when it uh, is uh, stepped up to a higher power level. Yeah. And um, so the attractiveness is, it, is it, it, uh, you've got a, something that handles nice, the mileage is good, and should have some good performance potential too. All for you know, kind of a reasonably cost relative to some higher priced um, yeah. you know, gasoline options. But the injectors are piezo, they're, yes. and that's the same as the as the LML Chevy, right, the newer body style Chevys? That's correct, yeah. The basic uh, way that those injectors function is the same as in the LML. Um, okay. We've been working with those injectors for about two years now. Um, have uh, a basic procedure of how to modify them uh, nailed down. Uh, still working on getting the full range uh, available. So there's two components to the fuel system, the high pressure side. You need the pump to drive capacity and then the injectors to, correct. to, to actuate. Um, tell us about the pump. Yeah, the pump is a Bosch uh, CP1H model, and uh, it's been around a while. It has been upgraded for the use in the cruise. It has uh, some parts that uh, now have some advanced coatings on them. Some of the parts have been upgraded to ceramics, um, so it looks like a fairly durable unit. Um, it's uh, power potential, um, just going by what the stock uh, needs of the cruise are. Uh, and then kind of ratioing that up to where the pump uh, runs out of steam yeah. on our test bench, um, it looks like it should be good for about 250 horsepower uh, before you need a pump upgrade. So about an extra 100 horsepower over the factory output of the cruise on the stock high pressure pump. That's what it looks like. Uh, we won't know till we get there, but sure. that's the, in theory where it should top out it. So you brought me the cruise. Um, my end of it is the calibration side. I get into the computer, I control pressure, timing, pulse width, all those uh, elements of the fuel system that decide how much fuel is injected, when, and how much power ultimately we get out of the car, how much torque, and what RPM we run it at. My goal is to find the limitations of the fuel system and then kind of hand that off to you and say, this is I what need we need. Much more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. This is what I'm up against and uh, this is where we need uh, more help, some more, more products. Um, to that end, we have been working on a uh, high output pump already okay. um, and injectors as well for uh, other applications. And we have done some cruise applications too, but okay. um, yeah, still uh, in development. Today was a pretty easy day. It's nice when you get to take some time to observe things instead of having to modify them <laughs> right away. Um, you brought us the cruise. You also brought us a Chevy's MDI scan tool. Which yes. This is a really nice addition. Uh, let's us see just about any parameter we want of the cruise under operation and you and I had some time to sit in the cruise as we were running it under full power on the dyno and watch what the car is doing electronically. Right. So I mean we got to get a baseline horsepower wise, we got to see what the truck's doing boost wise and fuel system output wise um, and how it holds up to a sustained test, so how, how long it takes until power starts to fall off. Uh, one of the reasons that we came today was a to kind of get an idea of how the power curve looked, but also to try out a, a few other items and see uh, what worked, what doesn't work, to get us an idea of uh, where we need to go, where we need to spend our time and development dollars, uh, so that we, in the end, uh, have products that uh, the market can use and and are useful to the market. So we made some good observations on the dyno today. I certainly look forward to testing more more calibrations and more parts on the cruise as time goes on and um, I really appreciate you bringing it by and appreciate you sharing your expertise with us today. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for giving us real numbers behind what uh, we were only guessing at before.